work for you. Inhale, exhale, breathe and breathe. Press in, hold here, hold here, belly in, hips tucked. Press that left hand into your left thigh, 10 quick counts, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Shake side to side. Curl center, quickly curl, curl. All right, now some of you might recognize this from class, right? We sometimes hold on, okay? Now normally we do this with our feet up at a bar, so we have a little more leverage here. Here it's a little bit harder because of the angle. So you can stay on your elbows and keep pulsing here, or if you can keep your shoulders here, you're gonna press into your feet and hold on. Press into those feet and curl, and curl. Option to take those hands off if you want for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Bring your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Point those toes up to the ceiling. Take the shape to the right. So there's slight right angle. Tiny right, tiny, tiny shift to the right. Bend, stretch, hold. Bend, stretch, hold. Bend, stretch, hold. Tiny little bend, stretch. Stretch, hold. Stretch, hold. All the way straight with those legs. Palms face the ceiling. Try not to use your back or your arms to help keep your legs up. If you wanna drop this two inches, stretch, hold. Now we normally do this with a strap in our hands to help us keep the work in our abs. Without that strap, there's a tendency to let that back come off the mat. Keep your back flat on the mat. Now if you need a break, take a break now. Otherwise, shift to the left, bend, stretch, hold. If you need a break, bring your knees to your chest, rock side to side. And then point those toes to the ceiling, take them over to the left, stretch, hold. And again, you can lower them a little bit if it makes it harder, but both hips should be on the mat. So I don't want you leaning over so much that your hips are coming off the mat. Stretch, hold. For five, we're gonna come back to center. Do that more quickly in three, two, last one, back to center, bend stretch, bend stretch, bend stretch. Now interlace your fingers behind your head. Lift up your head, neck, and shoulder, one fist off the ground. So I want you right now, shouldn't feel that much in your upper abs. I want you to rest on that fist. So I have a fist under my head, and my elbows are wide. That's how high I'm gonna stay off the ground as I bring that fist behind my head. Again, I can always test that, about a fist distance off the ground of my head. My hands are supporting the weight of my head. They're not helping my abs at all. And I can't see my elbows. They're in my peripheral vision. Stretch, curl, stretch, curl, curl, curl. My gaze is toward the ceiling, not toward my knees. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, knees into my chest, rock side to side, hold on to my shins, roll on up, thumbs on top of my thighs, fingers behind, elbows pop out wide to the side, round down three vertebrae, chin above my knee, hands off, loose fists, and tap, and tap, and tap. A little more ab work to finish class here, okay? So a lot of classes will kind of speed through the abs because it's the end of the class. This is when we really work your core, so I want you to really focus in on your abs. Pull your belly into your spine, tuck your hips under. You can make these taps wider to work into your oblique. So down, down. Do you see the press, the weight that comes into your obliques as you bring those arms down? That's gonna work more into your sides. And then the lower you can kind of manage here while adding this movement, the better position you're gonna be in. But we don't want your shoulders creeping up into your ears, okay? If your feet are coming off the ground, just walk them a little bit closer. Tap. Hold it in the middle, little taps here. Tap, 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 tap. Bring that to a diagonal. Now, if you'd like, hold back on, take a breath, inhale. Exhale, breathe out, pull your belly and round your back. Everyone should look at their shirt and have wrinkles in it, even if you're tapping. And then if you took that break, come to your back to your tapping and tap, tap. Come to a place where you feel a little weight in your abs, tap, tap. Round that back belly in. Your chin is still above your knee, okay? If your hip flexors are hurting, walk your feet even closer, okay? If you need support, you can place it where your belly button would be if your belly button was on your back. That's the best place to support for this position. We're really high up. Another option is just to have one hand tapping. Five, four, three. Everyone hold back on, catch your breath, inhale. Exhale, hips tuck under. Right fingertips point to the ceiling. Left hand off, twist to the left, twist, twist, 
twist. Okay, so we're actually in a high position here. Your arms look like this, and you're just twisting. Now, instead of twisting with your shoulders, that's what I'm doing here, I'm gonna twist with my abs, and my shoulders come along for the ride, right? Twist, twist. So the reason my shoulders move is my abs. That's why the movement's small. If the movement's big, I have to use my shoulders. If the movement's small, I can just use my abs. For eight, we're all gonna hold back on in five, four, three, two, and one. Hold back on elbow wide. Left fingertips point to the ceiling, biceps by your ear, right hand off, twist, twist. Now if you need more support, both hands down, twist. More support, hold on with your left hand to your left thigh. Last 10 twists here, it's 10, you got it. Nine, eight, seven, with your abs for five, four, three, two, hold back on, and then come up, grab your shins, press your chest forward, arch that back. Feel that nice stretch, inhale, exhale. One more set of abs. We're gonna to come to our lowest position for this ab set. You're gonna hold on, roll down, belly and hips tuck, come to your lowest position, just breathe. Look at my chin, it's below my knees. I'm looking up at my knees, left hand comes off. Curl to the left, just 10, 10. Now you can hold on to your right leg, elbow wide. It's okay if your knuckles are turning white. Switch hands, just 10, here we go, it's 10. Nine, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch hands again. Ten, nine, eight. Think of this top rib over bottom, but because you're very low, you're not going to have that big of a movement. Switch hands. Last ten on this side. Then we do both hands if you can handle it, or both hands hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Hands off. Just ten counts. Ten, nine, eight. You got it. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lie down, knees into chest, rock side to side. Inhale, exhale. Spin on over, hands, plank. Last plank of counts, 60 seconds. Just breathe, shoulders right over wrist. This is it. Bend your right knee, then straighten it. Left knee, then straighten it. Right and left. Now you can go a little faster, right, left, but if you start to do this with your hips, don't do it, go slower. And if you can't do it at all, hold in your plank or come to your knees, pull your heels to your seat. So you're choosing an option for your plank today. What makes sense for your body for today? If you haven't worked out in a few days, maybe you're feeling like you can stand the balls of your feet. Third day in a row, you probably feel like your abs need a little break. Maybe your shoulders need a little break. Shoulders right over wrists. Legs are straight when they're straight. So if you're straightening after you bend, it's completely straight. We're gonna come down to our forearms and take a nice sphinx pose to stretch out all those abs. Earn this one of these last stretches of class here. Pull your belly in, tuck those hips. Shoulders pull back behind you. Last 10 slow counts, you're done. In 10, nine, eight. Don't look at me when you're doing your plank. Just listen to the cues for four, three, two, and you're done. Lie down, press your chest forward. It's called a Sphinx pose, like the Egyptian sculptures, right? Pull your chest through your arms, pull your elbows into your waist. Let's take that gaze over our right shoulder. Come back through center, chin to chest, slowly over, look over our left shoulder. Inhale, exhale. Rest your head, make a little pillow for yourself, bend your legs in half, windshield wiper them side to side. You're getting a nice little stretch here. Let those hips go. Yep, let everything go, inhale, exhale. And release, flip on over onto your back. So you're just gonna roll back to come into your back dancing position. We're gonna start with wide legs. Walk your feet wide and lift your hips up. One fist off the ground, that's it. And tuck to the center, tuck with a hold. Tuck, hold. Tuck, hold. You're squeezing your glutes. So I know it seems weird, but the reason my hips are moving is not because I'm moving my hips. If I move my hips, it looks like this. If I squeeze my glute, it looks like this. See how it's cut in half, the movement's just smaller. When you lose your glutes, it's a little bit tinier because you're making the muscle drive the movement instead of letting big muscles move things that they know they can. Of course, your hips can lift themselves. They do that all day. Can your glutes lift your hips? Now press your knees back with a hold, back hold, back hold. Now, if you can press them back more than an inch, I want you to walk your feet even wider so they're in the widest position. Now, as your glutes get tired, you can flex your feet to put some work into your calves. This will help build your calves and take some pressure off your glutes. Tuck it quickly, just tuck, 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 tuck. Little tucks to the center. We do two minutes here. 
to wrap up class, then we'll stretch. Tuck, 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 tuck. Tuck, 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 tuck. Always feel free to have your own song playing some music just to get really excited for back dancing. 10 more tucks, then we're gonna walk our feet together and come on to releve in 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Try not to take too long of a break as you walk your feet together, balls of your feet, tuck hold. Tuck hold. Now you're gonna be a little higher than fist distance, but I still want you to be grazing the top of your fist with your glutes. So even though you can come onto your back, don't do that work on your glutes now. Hopefully you've already started to feel the burn in your glutes, even though we switch positions. Tuck hold, tuck hold. Three more like that, tuck hold. You're squeezing your glutes, think squeeze hold, like you're making a fist with them. Hold to your knees, squeeze together, squeeze hold. Squeeze hold. Look at those in our thighs. Are you going to get them closer together? Get them to squeeze closer. Squeeze hold. Working into those thighs, squeeze hold. Squeeze hold. Squeeze hold. Tighter, tighter, like there's a playing card between your knees. You're gonna crush it. Never let it go though. You never separate your knees enough that something would fall out between them. Tuck quickly, it's tough. You're gonna finish here. We're gonna make these big to finish. Just get to a full range position. So you're gonna bring your seat all the way down to the mat and tuck it back up only to this height, okay? Here we go. We go down, up, down, up, up, up. Tiny movements are stronger movements. You got 20 more and then we will stretch all that out. I promise, give this everything you've got. Don't phone in the end of class. Last 10 counts here, it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one release. Left knee and right leg long. Left knee and right leg long, feel that stretch, pull your knee toward your left shoulder. Opening up that inner thigh, that hip. Pull it back toward the center. Glute, switch sides, right knee in. You're done. Don't turn this off. I've been taking a lot of classes online too. I know how tempting it is to turn it off. Don't turn it off, right knee to right shoulder. Finish your bar practice. Build that flexibility, lengthen those muscles. Right knee toward your chest again, glute. Find your strap, your belt, your t-shirt, whatever you're using, bring the balls of your right foot into your strap and leg goes tall. Left leg is long, both feet are flexed. Pull your right toes toward your nose. Then across your body, IT band stretch. If you prefer, you can switch the straps to your left hand, bring that right hand to your right hip. Legs should be stick straight. Inhale, exhale. If your leg's out here, that's better than here. Okay, that's better than here. Straight leg out. Pass the straps to the other hand, leg goes out to the side. Toward your same side shoulder. Hips are down on the mat, face the ceiling. Like a heavy weight is keeping you down. Come back to center, switch the foot that's in the strap, point your toe on the way up, flex it when it gets there. Both feet flexed, toes pull toward your nose. Straps to your right hand, leg comes across your body just a couple of inches, straight leg. Left hand can come onto your left hip to help keep that hip down. Again, this is a better stretch than this. Okay, straight leg. Pass the straps to the other hand, leg falls out to the side, right hand on your hip. Toes toward your left shoulder, hips stay square to the ceiling, flat on the mat. Stick straight left leg, both legs up, balls of your feet into your strap, heels higher than your toes, as high as you can get them. If you can curl up your strap a little bit to get a deeper stretch, curl up it now. Release knees into chest, happy baby stretch, reach for the insoles of your feet, knees go out to the side, heels over your knees. And then you can always straighten those legs if you'd like, only an option. And if you'd like to reach for the outer soles of your feet, slightly different feeling there, inhale, exhale. Knees into chest, rock and roll up. And then spin around to face me. Let's finish with some breaths here, just to wrap up class. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, press the air away from you. Left hand down, right arm up. Nice little side bend, a lot of oblique work today. All right, so feel this nice stretch. Grow taller, even though you're falling to the side. If your left elbow doesn't touch the ground, that's fine. And switch sides, right hand down. Try and pull through center using your core. Both hips stay on the ground, so none of this. Open that heart to the sky. Palm faces the ceiling, that'll get you that better stretch. Back to center, using your core, interlace your fingertips, round your back to the chest. Arms up, inhale. 
exhale breathe out you're all done with your bar class for today thank you so much for watching please let me know if you have any questions i can't wait to see you back in class but for now hopefully this works thanks for watching and please subscribe